Hi, I'm Andre Minkov, the founder and CEO of Trademark Factory. And in this video, I'm going to share with you how you can protect your brand on Amazon. Get it, Trademarks with Trademark Factory. If you sell your products on Amazon, making sure that you have a brand that you can enforce is super important because if your product is any good, you will soon notice that there's a lot of people who are trying to sell products similar to yours under a name similar to yours. And that's precisely what uh, trademarks are for. That's what gives you the ability to stop others to sell products and services that would confuse potential buyers into believing that they're buying your products from you and in, in, instead they're buying something else from somebody else. So there's two avenues that you can take to enforce your rights, to enforce your brand on Amazon, uh, but both rely on you having a proper trademark. So the first avenue is very simple. You just fill out the form on their website. It's called a trademark infringement form where you claim that some other listing uh, is uh, for a product that's in the same niche as yours, the same category, uh, and it has a name similar to yours. It doesn't have to be identical, but if it's similar enough to cause confusion, you should fill out that form and let Amazon know that you're not happy. Another option is called Amazon Brand Registry and they've just launched a new version of that. This allows brand owners to proactively enforce their rights and stop their competition from putting in their products under similar names and uh, thus competing with you. So what you must have to use both these systems is a registered trademark for the name of the brand, not just the logo, uh, and it has to be a registered trademark. It doesn't, you can't go to them and say, well, I've been in business, I've been selling this product for five years, uh, they won't enforce it. Uh, if I mean, it doesn't mean you can't do anything about it with your unregistered trademark, but you'd have to use the court system. If you want Amazon to help you, you have to have your brand trademarked properly. Uh, you have to have it registered. And it has to be a name, especially for the Amazon brand registry. All they care about is whether you have a word mark for the brand, for the brand name. That's how they can help you enforce your brand proactively against new sellers who might use a similar name. They'll just stop them. And here's one thing I want to mention that a lot of people don't realize when it comes to brand enforcement and trademark enforcement. It's not just about uh, making sure that whoever wants to buy your product buys it from you. It's also about your reputation because here's what happens when somebody sells an inferior product under your name or a name that's too close to yours. People are going to buy it and they're not going to be happy because it's an inferior product and on Amazon, what they're going to do, they're going to leave a review and that review is there to stay and they're not going to say good things about an inferior product and that review will be something that other potential buyers are going to read even when they're making a decision about your products. So what you don't want is bad reviews about a product that's not even yours, but that a lot of potential buyers are going to treat as a review about your product. So you've got a good quality product on Amazon, you have to be very careful about making sure that lookalikes, soundalikes, and just plain ripoffs don't result in a lot of bad reviews that people will attribute to your product. So that's why you want to be able to use the tools that Amazon provides. And, and, and look, I've heard stories about 
you know, Amazon not being extremely efficient about shutting down those infringing products. Yeah, I've heard that, but it's still better than the court system. It's still faster. What you want to do is to make sure that you register your brand as a trademark and that you register it with Amazon brand registry. And that as soon as you see that, for example, your sales drop right away, uh, that might be a sign that there's a competitor who's uh, selling your products or, or something very similar to your products under a similar name, probably for a cheaper price, probably at an inferior quality. So make sure you watch that. And if you catch them, fill out the form, tell, uh, fill out the trademark infringement form or notify Amazon otherwise that your brand that is a proper trademark uh, has been infringed. If you have a product on Amazon and you don't have the name trademarked, well, I think that should be one of the first things you do after you watch this video. You have to get your brand trademarked, plain and simple. The, the cost of getting a trademark is minimal, is nominal compared to what you're gonna lose if uh, you've got competitors uh, selling a similar product under a name that's similar to yours, plain and simple. This is just one of many short videos where I provide specific no BS answers to your questions about trademarks. So subscribe now and get notified whenever the next video goes live. And if you have a brand that you want to protect, fill out the form at freetmsearch.com and we'll be able to tell you whether your brand is trademarkable and we'll be able to help you protected in Canada, US, Europe, Australia, wherever you are, wherever your customers are. If you value your brand, you need to trademark it and that's what we can help you with. I'll see you in the next video.